breaking news. One of Donald Trump's top executives at the Trump Organization could face criminal charges as soon as this summer. The New York Times just reporting that the Manhattan District Attorney's criminal tax probe into Alan Weisselberg, the longtime chief financial officer of the Trump Org, appears to be in its final stages. This would be a major development. An indictment would mark the first criminal charges related to the financial fraud investigation into Trump and the Trump Organization. Out front now, Ellie Honig, CNN senior legal analyst and former assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. Um, so, Ellie, we're finding out here that the charges could come as soon as this summer. If Alan Weisselberg does face charges, as I said, this is the first indictment that that would happen. And it's a powerful indictment, right? A guy who's worked with Trump for decades and knows everything there is to know about the finances. How big of a deal would this be for Donald Trump? Yeah, Aaron, this is a huge make or break moment. In fact, we are on the brink of right now two make or break decisions. First of all, prosecutors are going to need to sit down, assess all their evidence and decide, do we have enough evidence to indict Alan Weisselberg? If so, then the big decision is, does Alan Weisselberg flip? And make no mistake, whether he flips is going to mean everything for this investigation. He is the exact right person to target to try to flip. He is in the inner circle. He is the only person not named Trump who's in the inner circle of the Trump org. If they flip him, he can open up the whole universe of evidence. That's going to be a huge moment. And of course, his uh, ex-daughter-in-law has been very clear talking to me without a question that, that he would flip uh, to protect his, his family um, and, and to avoid a prison sentence. So what does it tell you, Ellie, based uh, about the pace of this investigation, right? I mean, we know that, that Cy Vance, uh, who's, who's leading this up, right, is going to be leaving office b by November, right, and that was expected to make a charging decision, expected. But this is as soon as this summer. It appears, it appears to possibly change the timeline here and accelerate it. What's the significance of that? Yeah, it tells me that prosecutors are moving quickly and they have to, Aaron, because like you said, Cy Vance is out of there at the end of the year. The grand jury is only impaneled really to the end of the year. That can be extended or, or sort of drawn back, but they need to move quickly here. And the decision whether Alan Weisselberg will cooperate, I can tell you, Nobody can predict that. I've seen many, many people faced with this dilemma. It is a complex personal decision. Hmm. It depends on the strength of the evidence. It depends on how much jail time they're facing. And bottom line, Aaron, it depends on loyalty. Who is Alan Weisselberg loyal to? Is he loyal enough to the Trump org to take a risk if he's charged at possibly going to jail? Or is he going to do whatever he has to do to try to save himself? Well, I would imagine I would it'd be amazing to me anybody in this situation who wouldn't try to save themselves. But I, your point is well taken, <laughs> Ellie. What is this reporting, though? this new reporting from the New York Times, tell you about what types of charges Weisselberg could be facing, especially when you're getting into this issue of prison time. Yeah, so prosecutors seem to be looking to make tax charges against Alan Weisselberg. The basic gist is that he was paid by the Trump Organization, not directly in a paycheck, like most people are paid, but partially in the form of the Trump Organization paying for tuition, for cars, for apartments. Now, that can be a lot of income, and normally that kind of income is taxable. So if they were doing this to try to get around the taxes, to try to beat having pay taxes, that could be a tax fraud charge. Now, a lot's going to depend on the amount here, because tax fraud charges can be be as minor as a misdemeanor under New York state law, meaning nobody's going to flip on a misdemeanor. You don't go to jail. Or they could be as serious as up to seven years per year of tax fraud. So he could be looking at either very little time or very serious time. That's going to be a huge factor when he's deciding whether to flip. All right, Ellie, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <clears throat>